Hey guys, Aris, Hardware Busters, today who have a PSU from Fractal Design, the Iron Gold 850. OEM, high power. Major differences with the Platinum Ion Plus line. Rifle bearing fan, lower grade capacitors on the secondary side, smaller bulk caps leading to lower hold up time, fewer fetch for the regulation of the 12 volt rail, and cable configuration with some differences like the decreased SATA and 4 pin Molex connectors by 2 and 1 respectively. Finally, the warranty is lower at 7 years while the Platinum Ion Plus models are covered by a 10 year warranty. Efficiency, Cybernetics Gold and 80 Plus Gold, Noise, Cybernetics A minus, that means 25 to 30 dBA average noise output, fully modular cable design, compact dimensions, 150 mm only depth, and a price of $110. And the warranty, I've already mentioned that, 7 years. Power specifications, we have a single 12 volt rail. Power distribution, the 12 volt rail can deliver the unit's full power alone, while the minor rails can deliver up to 120 watts combined, maximum. Cables, 2 EPS on 2 cables, 6 PCI Express connectors on 3 cables, 8 SATA on 2 cables and 3 4 pin Molex onto a single cable. Cable length and distance between them, we have long enough cables with 155mm distance between all peripheral connectors, which is ideal. And also there are no in-cable caps. Internal design. The platform is the same used in the Ion Plus Platinum 860W unit with some differences in parts which don't allow for as high efficiency but at the same time lower the production cost. The bulk caps have lower capacity and the switching fetch on the primary side are different. On the secondary side, the 12 volt rail is regulated by 6 fetch, while the Ion Plus unit with similar capacity uses 8 fetch with lower RDS on values. However, the DC DC converters for the minor rails are identical. The filtering caps are of lower quality than the Ion Plus model, which uses Japanese caps exclusively and a much larger number of polymer caps. Finally, the fan is advertised as a long life sleeve bearing, so I can safely assume that it uses a rifle bearing fan. The more expensive Iron Plus units use fluid dynamic bearing fans. Caps and fan manufacturers. The electrolytic filtering caps on the secondary side are provided by Tipo and belong to its low end SC line. Thankfully, a large number of polymer caps are also used for ripple filtering purposes. The bulk caps are by Nisicon and don't have enough combined capacity to provide a longer than 70 milliseconds hold up time. The cooling fan has decent specifications and if it uses a quality rifle bearing, it will manage to outlive the 7 year warranty. Protection features, the OCPT giving points are correctly set on all major rails under both cold and hot operating conditions. The overpower protection works well too and there is over thermal protection which is crucial to any PSU. All in all, the protection features in this unit are properly tuned. Average efficiency, it is not so competitive, taking the lead only from the Corsair RM850X which needs a push in this section. Average PF, the APFC converter performs amazingly well, achieving first place in this chart. Average noise output, it is low enough, it could be even lower though with some more tuning in the fan speed profile. Overall performance. The fractal design Iron Gold 850 doesn't pose a serious threat to the top offerings in this category, but it has a notably lower price tag. The Iron Gold with 850 watts capacity cannot meet the performance levels of other popular products in this category, but this doesn't necessarily mean that it is a bad product. On the contrary, it offers decent performance levels for each price. Nonetheless, the more expensive competition in this category uses higher quality parts. It offers high performance too, so it is totally up to you if you would prefer to spend less and get a fractal design iron called 850 
or pay more for the Corsair RM850X with the new ML fan or the next PG Core Reactor 850. There is also the highly popular Seasonic GX850. All three aforementioned PSUs cost about $40 more at the review time, which is a notable difference. Pros, full power at 47 degrees Celsius, good price given its specs, quite enough operation, good ripple suppression, properly tuned protection features, alternative sleep mode support, high PF readings, adequate distance between peripheral connectors, fully modular with 2 EPS and 6 PCI Express connectors. Cons, mediocre transient response, not tight load regulation, lower than 7 GP seconds hold up time, low efficiency with light loads, not efficient 5SB rail, and increased EMI emissions below 1 MHz. This was another PSG review from Hardware Busters International. Subscribe to our channel and see you in one of our next videos. Bye bye!